One of the composite questions you're going to be answering in the YEC 2020 maths, it's bearing. And I'm going to be teaching you how to answer the YEC maths question on bearing. Now, this question is pulled out from a YEC question and most things that are going to be done on bearing has been treated. Now, the question says the bearing of point X and Y from Z are 40 degree and 300 degree respectively. If line XY is equal to 14 kilometer and line YZ is equal to 11 point five kilometer a illustrate the information in a diagram b calculate correct to the nearest whole number line x y and angle z x y now before i move forward to solve this question i want to lay a foundation of the question bearing now this is my triangle okay so let's say this is side a and this is um, this is angle a this is side a now, this is going to be angle B, why this will be side B, why this is side C, and this will be angle C. Okay, now, there are two basic laws you require to solve a bearing question. The first, it's um, the sine law, why the second, it's a cosine law. Now, for the sine law, for the sine law, you need to do A over sine A which is equal to B over sine B, which is equal to C over sine C. Now, the small a are the sides, why the big A are the angle. Now, small b are for the sides, why the b is for the angle. Same thing applies to the C. The second law you need to apply in solving this question is called the cosine law. Okay? So, for the cosine law, to get a side A, A squared is equal to B squared plus C squared minus 2BC cos a sorry this is cos a okay why b square is equal to a square plus c square minus 2 a c cos b why c square is going to be a square plus b square minus 2 a b cos c now notice all of them are all following a particular pattern when you're trying to get for side a you must use b and c and refer back to the angle a when you're doing the same thing for b same thing applies now with this foundation i can now go in and solve the question okay so i'm going to move my question down so we can now solve it now, the first thing we need to do in this question is draw a diagram to interpret the information we've been given. Now, it says um, the bearing of point X and Y from Z. So, since the question says from Z, I'll draw my Z first. So, this is the cardinal point of my Z. You need to know that this is your north. Um, always know this is your north. So, you always start from the north, which is here. This is your north. This is your south. This is your... Uh, although this is um, west and this is your east. So it says the bearing of x and y from z are 40. So x is 40 degrees. So starting from here, here will be like 40 degrees. So this is my point x. Now it says um, 300 degree it's for y. So I'll count 300 degree. So from here to here is 90. This is 180. This is 270. So 300 will fall somewhere around here. So this is my 300, sorry. So this is my 300, okay? So I'll join it back. So this is my um, Y. So this is Y, okay? So this is my Y, this is my Z. So I'll join it together, okay? So now it says um, line XZ is 14 kilometers. So this is 14 kilometers. Now, it says YZ is 11.5 kilometers. So, this is 11.5 kilometers. Now, from the look of this question, you know that from here to here, it's 40 degrees. Now, from here to here, it's 300. Now, you know that what completes a circle is 360. That means here to here will be remaining what? It will be 360 minus 300. So, that will give us what? 60 degrees. That means the total angle here is going to be 100 degrees. That's we'll do 60 plus 40 to get our 100 degrees. That means angle Z, it's 100 degrees. Now we are asked to find line XY. So this is line XY. Now, 
If you could remember our cosine law, we said when we are looking for side A, A square is going to, and when you're giving the two sides, that's the two sides of the triangle. That's we're giving side B and we're giving side C. So you're going to say A square is equal to B square plus C square minus 2BC cos A. So we are going to be applying the cosine law to solve this question. So what we need to do is um, our line XY is going to be, this is going to be um, line XZ square plus line YZ square minus 2 times line XZ times line YZ cos. Now, we'll be using cos what? I want you to know we'll be using the cos that is opposite the line we're looking for, which is cos Z. Okay, so from here, we can now say um, our line XY square is going to be now our line XZ is 14 square plus YZ is 11.5 square minus 2 times. This is going to be 14 times 11.5 um, cos. Now Z is what? 100 degrees. Okay? So from here, we can say line XY square is going to be. So we need to evaluate uh, 14 square. So let's check it out. 14 square is going to give us. Um, that's 196. So this is going to be. 196 plus now we're still going to evaluate 11.5 square 11.5 square this is going to give us 132.25 so this is 132.25 minus now notice that this is 2 times 14 times 11.5 times cos 30 so you need to understand uh when you're obeying your board mass rule you need to perform this first. We need to perform this first. So I'm going to do all of them in my calculation. So I'm going to do this will be 2 times 14 times 11.5 times cos 100. So uh, note my calculator is in degree, so I'm correct. This is going to be. It's giving me minus 55.91. So this is going to give me minus 55.91. So at this point, I'm going to sum up. This is going to be line XY square is going to be. I'll add up my 196 plus um, 196 plus 196 plus 132.5. So this is going to give me 328.5. So this is going to be 328.25. Now minus times minus is going to give me plus 55.91. Okay. So at this point, I need to sum this up. So this will now be 328.25. Plus 55.91. Now this is going to give me 384.16. So my line XY square is going to be 384 point. That's going to be 0 0.16. Okay. So at this point, I need to now find my XY. So XY, line XY is going to be square root of 384.16. You also need to remember that your unit is what? Your unit is in kilometers. So let's perform the square root of this. So square root of our answer is going to give us 19.6. Okay? So this is going to be 19.6 kilometers. Now, if you recall, the question says we should find our answer to the nearest whole number. So this is going to be line XY is approximately 20 kilometers. Final answer. Okay? So now, the other question said we should find angle ZXY. Now, notice this is ZXY. So this is the angle we're looking for. Now, in this place, we're going to apply our, cos, our sine law because we know this side, we know this angle, and we also know this other side. 
So now we can apply our sign law. Okay, so at this point, we're going to say line xy over xy is facing angle, angle z. So this is going to be line xy sine z is equal to now what we're looking for is angle x. So that will be yz over sine x. Line yz over sine x. Now line xy gave us 19.6 over sine z will be sine 100. While line yz, it's going to be yz is 11.5. So now we're applying our cosine law. Now you can see how to apply both the cosine law and the sine law. Now from this place, I'm going to cross multiply. This will be 19.6 sine z is equal to 11.5 times sine 100. Now sine z, making it the subject of the formula, is going to be 11.5 times sine 100 divided by 19.6. So we are going to evaluate this with our calculator. So this is going to be 11.5 times sine 100. Now, what is this going to give us? This divided by 19.6. So now it's going to give us 0 0.5578. So that means sine Z is going to give us 0 0.5578. Therefore, our Z is going to be Sorry, I prefer writing my Z like this. Our Z is going to be sine inverse of 0 0.5578. So we are going to do the sine inverse of this. So we we'll press our shift and um, sine inverse of this, our answer. Now it's giving us 35.29 degrees. So our final answer, it's um, Z is equal to 35.29 degrees. Therefore, Z is going to be approximately 35 degrees. So from this, you can see we've calculated what the question wants us to do. Now, I can tell you all the bearing questions is not going to be far from this. You are either going to be applying the sine law or the cosine law. Once you understand this concept, solving any bearing question is going to be very easy for you. Please don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to check out other questions we've solved, which includes the likes of the graph, the logarithms with calculator. And please subscribe and hit the notification bell because we are going to be releasing other questions, which includes the likes of statistics, probability, and so on. And I wish you success as you write your WIAC exam. Thank you.